Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ilyas Hussain and I will give you a quick overview of how to plan your trip to Chitral. Firstly, uh, you have to decide whether you want to fly there or travel by road. So, PIA flies from Islamabad and Peshawar, but you have to find out yourself as PIA changes the, their plan sometimes. Uh, it will take around an hour to reach Chitral by air and by road depending on your frequency of shopping on uh, sorry stopping um, yeah on the way normally it takes around 10 to 12 hours so uh, I will talk about uh, hotels and restaurants in Chitral I have mentioned few of the good quality hotels that are present in Chitral town so you don't have to worry about the uh, your place of stay accommodation or food so you can stop the video and look at those list so while you are traveling by road then Lavari Top or Lavari Tunnel is the first, the entrance to the valley, you can say. Um, I have listed the name where you can stop by and rest for a, a while if you like. Uh, Drosh would be a good point. Uh, you can have um, tea or food. Even if you are tired, you can stay there overnight if you like. And then the road would take you to Chitral town um, I would say that Ayon Ayon is the is the beautiful place uh, you would get a beautiful view in summertime especially so don't forget to stop there so the next stop uh, would be Chitral town for you on the way you will have plenty of beautiful views of villages streams Chitral River, etc. And um, once you reach Chitral town, uh, there's the list of uh, places. Uh, if you're taking the flight, you will land in Chitral town straight away. And um, the next suburb to the airport is uh, Simlasht. Um, Chitral town or Chitral Bazaar is uh, quite close to the airport. Um, you will find your hotel, restaurants, and all the basic facilities there. So once you find your accommodation and take a good rest, you can explore the town. If you are there during Cheshne Kaklash festival, you will enjoy watching different games. Polo ground is close by as well. Um, you will just find out from your receptionist if there is polo match going on normally happens after in the afternoon so you can just walk by Chitral river is close by as well and you can view Chitral peak the, the Terjmer peak uh, from town as well from Chitral town the good thing is you can go to different valleys such as uh, uh, Chitral uh, Garam Chishma, Lodkuf valley, uh, Kalasha valley Mother clashed Upper Chitral and um, the first uh, spot I would uh, recommend is Birmolasht and uh, National Park National Park uh, they are pretty close by part of each other so Birmolasht it's an, uh, located in an elevation of uh, about 9000 feet and there is a summer fort which is built in uh, 1910 uh, it's part of Chitral Gold so Chitral Gol uh, National Park. Uh, it's uh, located around two hours drive, and uh, you will find plenty of wildlife and a variety of birds there. So there is first thing you might want to do, and uh, second thing, and probably the one of the major reason for people from all over the world visit Chitral so and that is uh, I would recommend 
one to two day trip to Kalasha Valley. There are three sub valleys there. It takes around one and a half hour to reach there. So you you would have um, yeah, guest houses there. Uh, PTDC hotel is there, and um, these are the list of festivals that you can uh, see. Stop the video and uh, see which festival suits you best. So you can go there during those festivals to see the culture and the people close closer. Madaklasht is another place if you are interested especially in snow sports uh, I would recommend uh, you go there in February but depends on uh, the government and the local bodies who organize the event you have to uh, whenever you are looking this video I am making this in 2020 I don't know whenever you are looking at the video just uh, make sure you google first and see when the festival is being held. And then when you are back to Chitral town, Lotgu Valley is another uh, place famous for uh, its uh, hot springs in Garam Cheshme and the stream, beautiful stream, yeah, the ibex climbing mountains or coming down to have some water in the evenings. Uh, it's a beautiful valley as well. And then when you're back to again you can I would recommend uh, one to two days for Lotku Valley as well so when you are back to Chitral town pack your bags to towards upper Chitral and it's another huge valley um, you have plenty of places uh, on the way while you are traveling to upper Chitral so I would recommend stop by those few of those places and if you see um, someone selling fruit by the roadside stop by buy some and you will just say wow the taste is so good so yeah next stop for you is Buni uh, yeah in the meanwhile you can stop by anywhere you want any of these locations so it takes around two hours to reach Buni from Chitral town and while you are in Buni you have uh, plenty of guest houses restaurants hotels there and uh, while you are there you can just drop by Kaklasht which is um, um, a very beautiful place and uh, the best time for Kaklasht is when the festival is on that happens in April you have to again look for the date in the year you are watching this video and different sports happen during the festival it's a beautiful place you can see different uh, villages around uh, while you are in Kaklasht then Shandur festival again another major event that is the driver for international tourists as well as uh, national tourists so that happens in the world highest polo ground also called as the roof of the world it happens in july you have to check for the date and so mastuj when you are buni the next stop from buni is mastuj and in mastuj again you have guest houses plenty of places to stay and uh, not to worry about that and then from mastuj you can plan for Laspur Valley which has again plenty of lakes uh, polo mages happen there and traditional cuisines cultural music you will find everywhere in Chitra people love music and um, do's and don'ts which are normal uh, most of them you would know about it you have to respect the culture wherever you go be environmental friendly don't make uh, pollution wherever you are and take photos but be mindful of the local culture don't just take photos of especially women 
you have to ask for permission and don't forget your cameras and extra batteries warm clothes very important sunglasses hats you can see there uh, yeah the rest if you have any query feel free to ask in the comment section and if you like this my first vlog actually feel free to subscribe and if not that's fine i will try my best to make to improve my future videos and have a wonderful trip whenever you are planning thank you for watching bye